I'm going to show you how you can use stock footage to elevate your 3D renders from something like this to this. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to map video footage onto any 3D surface in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. And speaking of video footage, today's tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks. One of the major downsides of getting stock footage online is how much you can add up in cost, especially if you're paying per clip. Well, that's why I love Storyblocks' unlimited download model, which is one predictable subscription price that gives you access to pretty much everything you need for your video projects. And when I say everything, I mean over a million pieces of premium content. We're talking 4K footage, motion graphics templates, music tracks that are all cleared for social platforms, and so much more. Plus, their library is constantly updated with fresh content based on what creators actually need. And since everything is 100% royalty-free with industry-leading legal coverage, I never have to worry about copyright claims. So head over to storyblocks.com slash figginlight or click the link in the description below to get started with unlimited downloads at one set price. Now let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so here is the scene that I created for this tutorial. I actually took this room from one of Cinema 4D's example scenes from the Asset Browser and stripped it down to pretty much this desk and some typical elements you'd find on a working desk. So up to this point, this is what the render looks like. Now, obviously the picture frames are empty and the whole scene just looks a little bare. So it'd be nice to fill those in. Now, I could have put some random landscape pictures in those frames and called it a day and that'd be totally fine. But I thought that since the desk elements are animating already, it makes sense to add some animation in those frames as well, rather than just having still images to maybe give this impression that this whole desk is coming to life or something along those lines. And that's where we can use a site like Storyblocks to help fill in that gap. But in order to bring in any footage into Cinema 4D like this, we need to convert it to an image sequence because Cinema 4D cannot play MP4 or MOV files as far as I know. If I open up a new scene really quick, and I wanted to play some footage on this plane, for example, I'd first need to assign this material to the plane, and then open up the node editor. And in here, I'll add an image texture node and plug that into the diffuse channel. In this texture node, there's this tab called animation, and the only way the image texture node can play a video file is if it's an image sequence as you can see right here, where the node can calculate how many frames or images are in a specified folder. Any footage we get online and want to plug in here will need to be converted to an image sequence. Now to do that, we're gonna go into After Effects. So we're here in After Effects and I have a stock footage file that I downloaded and imported from Storyblocks. I'm gonna drag it into our timeline to create a composition. And there is our footage. If I scrub through the timeline, you can see the very colorful butterfly animation, which I thought would look good on the computer monitor. So without touching anything else, I'm gonna to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Where it says Output Module, I'm gonna click on this link right after it, and in Format, I'm gonna select either PNG or JPEG sequence. Then over in the Output, just click this and select whichever folder you'd like to save the image sequence to and click Save. Once that's done, you can go ahead and click Render. But I already went ahead and did that beforehand, so I'll just head back to Cinema 4D. Back in our scene, I'm gonna to go to our Material Manager and select the material that is assigned to our computer monitor right here, and then I'll open up the Octane Node Editor. So in order to reference that image sequence that we exported out, we need an Image Texture Node. And in this File Parameter field, to the right, I'm gonna click on this little folder icon right here. I'm gonna click on the first image on the upper left and then click open. Then I'll go to animation, set the mode to loop. For timing, I'm gonna leave it at exact frame and then we'll click calculate. And as soon as I do that, you'll see that Cinema 4D calculated 300 frames in the folder and 30 FPS should be fine. Now, since the monitors are inherently emission-based, I'm gonna plug this image texture node into the emission channel of this material. But in order for that to work, the material needs a texture emission node. So I'll grab one of those. There we go. And I'll plug this image texture into the emission node and then plug this into the emission channel. 
Now, I tested this beforehand. I know it's going to be really bright right out of the gate. So I'm going to lower the power all the way down to about 0.09. I also know the footage will come in flipped horizontally. So I'm going to add a transform node and set the scale in the X to minus one to flip it back over. All right, so that is set up. Let's open up the Octane Live Viewer and hit render. If I scrub through the timeline, we will now have the stock footage that we downloaded from Storyblocks playing on our computer monitor right here. Really nice. Now you may notice that the first 27 frames or so, the monitor is black. That was intentional. In the image sequence, I didn't render out the first 27 frames or so because I wanted the screen to pop on a little after the character walked out of the frame, just so that it feels more like a reveal. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna use the same exact process for the rest of the frames. So I'll fast forward through that and then show you the end result afterwards. All right, so I added more stock footage to the rest of the picture frames and this is what it looks like now. So that is how you can use stock footage to elevate your 3D renders. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.